Hey, it's Chris again, and today I'm going to be talking about 3D printing. Um, so 3D printing is a production of three-dimensional objects that comes from a 3D model, or a three-dimensional model. Um, there are printing, they are printed using machines and can make anything from a paperclip all the way up to a house and much more. Um, who's using 3D printing? So 3D printing is a very fast growing industry due to its many uses and a wide variety of capabilities. So multiple countries are using 3D printing and even some of the smaller, uh, less industrialized in, uh, countries are also invested in 3D printing. And um, for my video, I'll be touching on England's use of 3D printing specifically. Um, so World Population Review accredited England as having the highest ranking educational system. Um, and 3D printing has become a very useful tool in the educational sector, in the education sector, and uh, it allows uh, people to earn teachers and schools to print out many models that are useful. Um, engineering, for example, engineering students can print out prototypes, architecture students can build 3D models, history classes can print out old artifacts for examination, and scientists can print out geothermal models. Um, and can use things, uh, scientists can also use this to help uh, see when, or the impact of earthquakes in different areas and tsunami uh, consequences that could follow as well. Um, where are they using IoT? So the University of Oxford is a top, if not the best school in all of England. Um, and they recently had a med tech conference with a focus on how 3D printing can help the medical field. Um, it can help surgeons practice uh, common surgeries uh, or risky surgeries as well, just to get a little more confidence in. Um, and can also help for educational reasons in the classroom. Uh, like I said, they have a great education system out in England um, and can definitely help advance the medical field and uh, research in that department. Um, what are the large companies uh, in? England that is invested in 3D printing is Euro car, car parts, uh, like their name, they build car parts using 3D models. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than some other ways and uh, is a very efficient way to help uh, build cars and they have a market for it there. Um, so when are they using it? So there's currently a mass adoption of 3D printing in England as, as well as around the world. Um, just like I said before, there are so many capabilities that these machines have. And um, it's definitely a way of the future and a lot of people are trying to get invested in it. Um, multiple companies and schools have uh, already invested in the technology as well. And then how do we uh, apply this? So uh, for England, I'm gonna be talking about how it can help uh, with health issues in, um, in England. Um, yet again, like I touched on before, uh, these can be used for educational purposes and to help medical research uh, further advance itself. And all the useful, uh, things that you could build with a 3D printer that you can't build typically um, are gonna be used to help advance this research. Um, so for two truths of the lie, uh, mine are you can purchase a 3D printer for under $100. The UK ranks top 10 countries invested in 3D printing and London is the 3D printing capital of the world. Uh, world. I hope you have fun with this one. Uh, thank you so much.